My name is Rachel Swarns, and I'm a professor of journalism here at NYU. As a correspondent, I reported on stories overseas, across the country, in Washington, and here in New York City. But as a professor and a writer, I investigate history. In particular, the history of 19th century American slavery. In my work, a lot of what I think about is public memory. Uh, what we know about ourselves as a nation and what we've forgotten and sometimes what we've chosen to forget. And one of the things I think um, that we've chosen to look away from um, as Americans for a long time is this history of slavery. Um, and that's why it's such a privilege to be here as a fellow for the Center for the Humanities. Um, because it really allows me to dive into this work that I'm doing, um, looking at how foundational slavery was um, to our families and to our institutions, our contemporary institutions. Um, working here as a fellow will allow me to focus on my book, um, which examines how slavery fueled the growth of Georgetown University and the Catholic Church. And it really focuses on the Catholic priests who ran and founded Georgetown. They happen to be among the largest slaveholders in Maryland. And when it looked like Georgetown might go bankrupt, um, they decided to sell off their assets, their most valuable assets, 272 men, women, and children. Um, the strategy worked, uh, the school prospered. It is, as we all know today, uh, one of our elite academic institutions, but it came at a terrible, terrible cost. The slave sale was one of the largest documented sales of the time, and witnesses described families torn apart. Um, most of us, when we think about the Catholic Church, think about the church as a northern institution, um, but in, its, in the early days of the Republic, um, the church had its foothold in the South, and it relied on um, plantations and enslaved labor um, to grow. Um, and this is hard history. It's difficult history, in fact, because it really runs counter to the narrative that we have about ourselves as American, this idea of equality and justice for all. Um, but it is critical history. Um, and I think um, at this time, um, particularly in this very difficult time when we as a nation are wrestling with issues of our racial divide, um, having an opportunity to dig into this history, to show how slavery shaped um, this university, many universities, um, the Catholic Church and many institutions is um, a privilege and I really hope that my work will contribute to the national conversation that we're having right now about these issues.